Hey everybody! I'm not gonna do a video this week, are you kidding me? What did you expect? I'd get up here and talk about cartoons or whatever? No! Now is not the time! Read the room! Straw man version of me I've created? Rather than simply shutting up for a change, I've collected a series of black creators that I will now join in union to the eyeballs. If you'd rather not listen to me yammer on and on about them, you can just go to the list in the video description below. Please keep in mind, not all of the people on the list, or indeed anyone featured in the eyeball zone, has necessarily asked me directly to be featured. Usually they do, but sometimes other people ask me to feature them. Sometimes they're just creators whose work I want to highlight. Don't take this video as them endorsing or wanting to be associated with me. They might not. I stress this because I don't want people to think I've been authorized to speak for anyone here. I have not been. And at least a few of the people I'm showcasing today disagree with me about a lot of things. And probably a few of them personally don't like me. But it is not the time for petty sectarian bullshit. And it's never the right time for me to gatekeep black voices in the community. So I swear to God, internet, if you bring drama to any of these creators, please understand, I will cry. I will cry about it. On with the show. In addition to having the coolest name I've ever heard, Jet Cloud makes videos and Twitch streams explaining leftist politics from a democratic socialist perspective. Of particular note to my audience is his discussion with previous eyeball devotee Afro Syndicalist about black anarchism. Dead Man Animations is a criminally underviewed channel with some of the tightest and most visually dynamic editing and most consistent aesthetic you're going to see from a leftist channel on YouTube. All of his videos look like uncovered VHS agitprop that was confiscated by the FBI and is only now being released. And the content is radical enough that I'm sure if the FBI could, they would confiscate them. You owe it to yourself to check out this channel. In Is Marxism for White Dudes, Young Simba outlines how even though white voices often dominate conversations about Marxism, and I would also add other leftist tendencies, Marxist critique has always, and will always, be the domain of non-white non-dudes as well. They also have a whopping six hour, so far, deep read of Settlers by Jay Sakai. They're also funny. They're really funny. Which probably didn't come across in my description. It's important to remember that protests like the ones we're seeing now about the murder of George Floyd have been going on for decades. In A City, A Riot, A Lesson, Carr talks about the Cincinnati riots after the murder of Timothy Thomas in 2001, and what activists and organizers can learn from them. I've seen some people talk about how they feel like the current protests erupted out of nowhere, and this video does a good job of contextualizing just how long and how hard this fight has been. Cupridge makes fun lefty meme videos and plays video games on Twitch. She also makes videos like Office Space and Working Under Capitalism, or Coffee Culture, Just Keep Working, about how we're simultaneously creating a culture where overwork is considered a virtue and legal stimulants are mass marketed to us, and how those two things intersect. We Are The Ones is an art collective of queer trans people of color. Currently, they're raising money to help marginalized communities in the San Francisco Bay Area in their fight with COVID-19. Links to donate and to see their kick-ass Instagram are in the description. Agitprop TV is a channel for those who are sick to death of civility and tone policing and want to hear the real shit. An unflinching and uncompromising perspective on black leftist and trans issues that will make some people uncomfortable in ways that they, or more accurately we, or more accurately I, probably ought to be. I'm, I'm trying not to be infantilizing here, but Whittlebug is just the cutest fucking name I've ever heard. So I'm just gonna call her her other name, Spoodlebug. Fuck, it's even cuter, God damn it. Whittlebug plays video games on Twitch, and if you're familiar with gamer culture or the Twitch ecosystem, you know that positive voices are extremely valuable in that space. Sometimes, you need a place to zone out and watch people play Pokemon without worrying about them going off and saying something shitty, and you can count on her for that. I don't, I don't know anything about anime, but Fuller Spectrum does. 
The only anime I've watched that Fuller Spectrum discussed on this channel is Dragon Ball Z, and his discussion about the differences between the English dub and the original Japanese Dragon Ball was pretty interesting. You don't normally see relaxed conversational discussions of anime like this, and that's something I know a lot of you are looking for, so check them out. Black Red Guard is a new African Maoist who breaks down American politics, Maoism, and contemporary praxis in an approachable and beginner-friendly way. And Black Red Guard is a great example of someone who can kick ass in an argument without being toxic, proving that debate isn't, like, bad. Halim makes well-edited, dynamic videos about Marxist theory, a normally dry academic subject that nobody but weirdos like us cares about, and makes it something you could show your dad and he wouldn't get bored and change channels to NCIS. I know that being entertaining isn't necessarily the goal of this kind of magic prop, but it still makes it a lot easier to share and makes it a whole lot easier to get newbies on board. Finally, a YouTube channel where someone gets drunk and talks about history. Though the video I want to highlight from Alki isn't actually a history video, it's How the NBA Made Me an Anarchist, where Alki talks about a heinous work experience at a stadium that radicalized him. And if you can't relate to that, you've probably never had a job or gone to a sporting event. I love to see radical sports content because I hate to see sports, something millions of people are passionate about, handed over to reactionaries. Excellent work. Oreo makes videos deconstructing reactionary talking points and reactionary political figures in a methodical way. Some of our old favorite chud lords get the Oreo treatment, everyone from Sargon to PragerU to Andy No, the guy who's a danger to our communities and makes kill lists for Adam Waffen. Pikachulita is a Twitch variety streamer who plays games but also does just chatting streams where she hangs out with her followers. She recently raised $6,000 for St. Jude's Children's Hospital, and that's pretty amazing if you ask me. Check her out. More video games! Fluffy Bite not only has long-form Let's Plays on their channel, but they've also recently branched out into vlogs and video essays, such as their anti-capitalist analysis of Skullgirls or Resident Evil 3. Both games I wouldn't have thought about in this way before. Move Left has two videos on his channel, one about disarming the police and one about allowing prisoners to vote. Aside from straight up abolishing these institutions, these are probably the two most pressing reforms in the American criminal justice system. And Move Left examines both with a thoroughness that demonstrates that there really is no argument against these common sense ideas. Swordsfall is an Afropunk and Afrofuturist tabletop RPG. If the term Afropunk confuses you or is new to you, I recommend reading the write-up that the game's creator put on the Swordsfall website about Afropunk and how it influenced the design of the game. There is a lot of passively racist shit in classic TTRPGs. Looking at you, orcs! So it's vital to see games made by and for people of color. Joe 100 is a Twitch streamer who plays mostly RPGs like Destiny 2 or Kingdom Hearts, but also Rocket League, which is always a fun game to watch. He also has a YouTube channel where he posts mostly lighthearted gaming videos, but also some video essays. Check him out. Ghetto News Network, or GNN, is hosted by a guy named Cole James Cash. And I need you to hear me when I say this. He is the funniest person on hashtag breadtube or hashtag lefttube or whatever. And I don't mean like haha -ha funny. I mean like you, you need him to stop making jokes sometimes because you can't catch your breath type of funny. But GNN isn't a comedy channel primarily. It's a discussion channel where Cole brings on usually a panel of interesting guests with interesting and unique perspectives to discuss important issues. I cannot recommend this channel highly enough. Adorpheus is a Twitch streamer who seems to play mostly Overwatch. They're also a wicked cool cosplayer, artist, and musician, all of which you can consume at your pleasure in the link tree in the description. Do you ever feel like things just find you? Because I've been on this real psychedelia kick lately, and along comes Trapped in Time, a story about a high schooler who's contacted by ethereal beings in their dreams and subsequently becomes trapped inside time. I mean, come on, if you hear a premise like that and you don't want to read it, like, just to find out what that even means, what's wrong with you? GXG Entertainment is out there making videos about politics, video games, and anime. That's what everyone wants, don't pretend. 
He has this fun experimental energy to his videos, like he's just throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks. I think a lot of artists can kind of get stuck once they develop a voice. But GXG is actively building his right now, and it's really interesting to watch. And only 19 subscribers? Are you fucking kidding me? If you want well thought out, well researched, and well argued video essays about politics, race, and also anime, then you need to check out Professor Flowers. Of particular note to my audience is the video, Is BreadTube Talking About Race Right? Turns out the answer is oof. There is room for improvement. And a good start towards that improvement is going to be more people watching Professor Flowers. So that's my list. There are obviously going to be creators I missed, so please take a look at the comments where I'm sure people will list more. I'll do my best to heart those comments so they get to the top of the page. I will be donating at least double the ad proceeds of this video to a charity supporting the George Floyd protests. I say at least because a lot of these videos don't get much ad revenue and I don't want to like donate $30. Like that doesn't seem respectable to me. The beneficiary I have in mind is Aiden King's page, which splits your donation between over 70 different causes, including mutual aid groups, bail assistance, racial justice groups, and more. Link in the description. I want to thank my followers on Twitter for doing a lot of the heavy lifting on this one and showing me tons of great content creators that I was previously, perhaps shamefully, unaware of. Once again, links to all of them are in the description. Please check them out. Thank you for watching. Hey, if you're going to a protest, I just want to give you some quick safety information to keep you and your comrades from getting injured or arrested. Don't bring your cell phone, and if you absolutely must take it, remove the SIM card, and even then, I'd advise against taking it. Cops can and will track you with it, they can and will confiscate it, and use your phone's data to build a case against you. Bring water, you need to stay hydrated. Bring change, you can use public transportation without them tracking your card system, whatever your city uses. Cover your face both because COVID-19 is still an issue and because you don't want to be recognizable to cops after the fact. Cover up any tattoos, identifiable features, or brands on your clothing. Bring hand sanitizer if you can and share with your comrades if you're able. Do not wear contact lenses. Mace and pepper spray can fuse them to your eye and permanently blind you. Wear eye coverings of some kind, like goggles. If you get mace or pepper spray in your eyes, blink rapidly to flush it out and then rinse very, very thoroughly with water. Wear heat-resistant gloves in case hot projectiles are lobbed your way. Memorize the number for a local legal aid group or write it somewhere on your body. Do not go alone and do not leave alone. Stay with a group to the best of your abilities because being alone makes you a target for police or other fascists. Do not share sensitive information on insecure channels. Use something like Signal with end-to-end -end encryption rather than something like texting or Discord. Good luck out there, stay safe, and Godspeed.